Hey, what's up, World Wide Web? This is Ken from Mahalo.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use iMovie's new flash and hold feature. One really cool feature in iMovie 11 is the flash and hold feature. Now, if you're a skater, break dancer, or you do parkour, this is a really cool thing to do. But don't get me wrong, you can use this for your family or home videos too. Let's say you jump into a pool and you want to use the flash and hold feature. I'm not going to stop you because it's impossible because I'm over here and you're wherever you're at. But anyways, that's besides the point. So let's go show you how we use this amazing cool feature in iMovie. So we're going to go ahead and take our clip and it's going to drag a selection just kind of like that right there. And we want to get it at the height of his jump to like, is he going to land that trick? I don't know. So then let's go to clip and then we'll go to special effect. Flash and hold. Booyakasha. There it is. So we have our area right here where he jumps. Have a nice fade to white. A nice photo with Ken Burns. And the result. So let's go ahead and hit space bar and see what happens. <laughs> Matrix sound effect by me. Ooh. Almost. All right. Now we're going to our second clip. And I'm like, hey, Kenny. I don't have iMovie 11. You know, I bought my laptop a, a year ago and I have iMovie 09. How can I use this amazing feature? Well, I'm gonna teach you. All right, you ready? I'm ready, let's do it. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go all the way up to here and there's a couple of ways we can do that. What I can do is right click, go to cut, then go just to that same area and paste. And there it is right there. And then let's go ahead in here and add a fade to white transition because that's what's right there. So then we're going to come over here. Or actually, let's go back. So what we're going to do is put our mouse right here at the height. And then we're going to command shift four. And that's a cool tutorial right there. I can take a picture, a screenshot of my screen. Let's hit escape. So let's go ahead and command shift four and just drag over the selection right here. Then we'll go to our desktop, hit command F. And here's a command where we can search for items in our Mac. So we'll go to, and usually these screenshots save to your desktop. So we'll go to screen, screenshot. So there we go. And we'll take a look at that. There's our screenshot. And we're just going to drag this right in the middle. Awesome. Then we're going to add a fade to white transition in between that. So we're not quite done yet. We're going to go ahead and click on this icon right here. It's hard to see, but this is our Ken Burns effect. And we'll go to Ken Burns. And then we're going to start here. And then at the end, and we'll hit done. And let's go take a look at the one I did. Oh, not bad, huh? Even if you don't have that flash and hold feature, you can still go ahead and do it yourself. So let's go ahead and take a look at this image right here. So we'll go over here and we can see what iMovie did and we can even match that. So we can go here, let's make this smaller. Let's click on our ending, that red box. Go ahead, done. And we can change the time of that. That's 3.7 seconds, let's double click. Make that two seconds. And let's give it another go. And there you go, guys. So no matter if you have iMovie 11 or iMovie 09, I taught you how to use the new flash and hold feature. And that's kind of one of Kenny's tips. Like, some of these features that you can do in iMovie 11, you can really do on yourself. But iMovie 11 has made it easier. Hey guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video with me. If you guys have any requests for videos, send them in to request at mahalo.com. Alright guys, remember, you rule. I'm just saying. Alright guys, have a good one.